Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Anissa and I'm so excited to bring you today's video. This is our New York City apartment hunting video. It's like a pinch me moment that we even have one of these now. I watched these for years, guys, for years, and I can't believe we finally have one of our own. I'm doing it on my own today because I actually did the apartment hunting on my own. I couldn't do it with Emilio, he had work. So that kind of made the process sucky, but enough about that. Let's get into it. When watching these videos, I always wanted people to just get straight to the point. I feel like what lacks here on YouTube is a lot of like affordable apartment hunting videos because when watching these, I would watch people that had such huge budgets and we don't have that. So here's a video for you with a realistic budget for a New York apartment hunting in Manhattan, in the city. Let me just pre-warn you guys. Sorry, you're probably hearing the city right now. Disclaimer, we're here. If you're just starting, you're just dabbling your feet in it. You want to see what it's like, what you need. If you're in it, I feel you. If you're done, welcome and you're just looking around. Um, but let me just tell you, if you are in the thick of it, I know it's hard. It's really hard. It's mentally exhausting. It's physically exhausting. This, this is probably one of the most tiring things I have been through, like planning our wedding. That's how That's how stressful this was. But anyways, enough of that. Let's get into it. Let's do the requirements. The requirements are you have to make 40 times the rent. And that's not 40 times like monthly. That's 40 times your annual. And if you don't make 40 times your annual, you have to have a guarantor, which could be from a business. There's a few businesses that you can contact that um, actually have a guarantor business that you can go through. You have to pay them an additional fee, but that's an option. If you don't have family or friend that can be a guarantor for you, um, and the guarantor has to make 80 times the rent. And some other things you have to have on hand, especially, especially if you're not from the city, you're moving out of state, just like we were, we're from California. It's tough, it's really tough. Um, I just wanna let you guys know, I did hire a realtor because it just was way too stressful. Like I just couldn't do it on my own from California. I needed help and I am so grateful that I had Clarence, I'm gonna put his information in the description. He was such a lifesaver, so helpful, so nice, answered all our questions, let us know everything we needed. He was great. So if you're from out of state, I kind of recommend you getting a realtor. It makes your life a hundred times easier. It's still hard, okay? So what you're gonna have to have on hand is, need is good credit. You need anywhere from a 650 or higher. I even hear some buildings don't accept you if you don't have a 700. So you have to have that letter of employment or a CPA letter. If you're self-employed, like I was, I had to get a letter from my accountant. Um, tax returns from the last two years. You have to have your last two pay stubs if you work like um, a regular job. And you have to have your last two bank statements, uh, your identification and your landlord reference if you are currently like not owning. I brought everything like just in case with me like when I went apartment hunting. But um, another thing you can do, it's called like Scanner, I think the app, I'll put it right here because I can't remember exactly what it's called. And you could just like, it scans everything and turns into PDF for you. So you have them on hand and ready to send out. Let me tell you, when you like a place, you want to get that application and you want to send it over fast. One of the frustrating parts about being in California was that if we hadn't seen the place in person, most places won't let you apply. That's why in our case, we needed a realtor because he actually went to go see some apartments before us before we even went to New York. We seen a place and he couldn't make it. We couldn't apply for it, which really sucked. Next is your fees. You're gonna need to have a security deposit, which is the first month's rent. Then you actually have to have your first month's rent, a $20 application fee per person, and then your broker's fee, which is your first month's rent up to 15%. Some people just do your first month's rent, which thankfully where we went, that's what it was but they can also do 15% of the annual rent, which is crazy. And then if you have a realtor, then you have a separate fee with them, which again, it's so worth it. It's expensive to move here, but if you really want it, it's so worth it. We're here right now, guys, and we don't regret a second of it. Just let me tell you. You can just skip this next part if you don't really care what our needs or our wants was. Our budget was 2,000. We didn't want to spend more than 2,000. L-O-L. We ended up stretching that budget to 2,500, which it's me and him, so it's doable between the two of us because honestly, guys, it is slim pickings for 2,000 under even anything 2,000 or 2,300 in that gap. It is really, really hard. The other things that were just like a no-go is just like, obviously, 
the building being clean, there being no rats. We didn't have like a lot of things like a doorman or an elevator or things like that. We just wanted to be in a safe area and a good area, be walking distance to both of our jobs. And that was pretty much it. Okay, so let's just get into it. Okay, so the first apartment we seen was in Hell's Kitchen and this was $2,400. This was a studio apartment, so it wasn't even a one bedroom. And honestly, I thought this one was pretty cute. Like I liked the big windows. It was south facing, so you definitely did get a lot of light. And I kind of like that. It wasn't like a crazy view you got, but you did get to see some nature. So I know that that tree would be really pretty like when it's blossoming. But other than that, like, you know, it is what it is. This one was a little bit more spacious, I will say. But then again, like that was small. That was the only closet that it had. This restroom was pretty teeny tiny. And all the tubs are small. Even when you think like, oh, we have like a tub, like they're much smaller in person, trust me. Um, but yeah, overall, I did like this one. It was definitely like one I kept thinking about on the rest of our trip, but I just didn't love the area. And one huge thing you want to check on when visiting apartments is looking at like the staircases in the buildings, especially if it doesn't have an elevator, because you want to see how they maintain a building. That is so, so important. Next up, we went to Flatiron. This area I absolutely loved, but this apartment, what you see is what you get. It was so tiny. This was the smallest apartment that we've seen, I think out of all of them. And honestly, like I liked it because some things were like modern in there and I loved the area, but I just couldn't. Like I knew me and Emilio could not live in here comfortably. And one of the biggest things that I just could not do was that you were facing like a cement wall and I coming from the country, I just couldn't do that. Like I just knew that would make me really depressed. The girl really loved the building and she really talked it up because she had really liked the people in the area, but it was just a no for me. I couldn't. And this one was $2,300. Yeah, that's the view. I just couldn't do that all day. $2,300 for that? No. This next one, we went back to Hell's Kitchen. I knew from the second, like stepping into this building, it was a no. It was so tiring getting up all those stairs. So just be prepared for that, especially if you're bringing someone who wasn't used to like working out and exercising like that. Even for me, it was so extremely hard going up these stairs. Um, but yeah, I just knew it gave me really bad, creepy vibes. My brother said he felt like he was in a Netflix, like scary movie. This one was $24.50, which is so insane because it was so disgustingly dirty. Like, I don't even feel embarrassed like saying that to whoever who owns, I'm sorry, forever, like who moved in here or owns this building. I just was just like, how could you show someone a place like this? The floors were curving in, like you could just see it. The restroom was so dirty. He was like, oh, don't worry, we'll clean that before we move in. We're like, um, no. Like, I just felt, yeah, it was just bad. How did the vibes feel like? Yeah, I don't know. What? Something's fucking burning up, bitch. Next up, we are still in Hell's Kitchen. This was a one bedroom apartment, and this one was $23.95. And honestly, I actually really liked this place. I thought it was super cute. I loved that the restroom looked clean. Um, whoever was the tenant before they had said that no one had lived there for like a little while So it was just clean and I liked the place. I loved that it had like the brick wall And it had a lot of windows in there So it actually did feel brighter like I knew on a bright day like it would be really sunny in there It had like all new appliances It was cute like it actually had a good sized kitchen. I thought the bedroom was cute But honestly hell's kitchen like I know if you're considering it um, you know, it's okay I, I think, I don't know. I just didn't feel safe in the area. That's why I just couldn't do it. But I actually really loved this one. I like kept thinking about this one as well. I was just like, gosh, if I could just put this apartment in a different area of the city, this would be it. Like I loved it, but I just couldn't do it. So I didn't love this one as much. I didn't love the area as much. And let me tell you guys, it is so exhausting apartment hunting. Like you're just drained. So make sure you grab lunch in between seeing apartments. This is still in Hell's Kitchen. This was a studio um, apartment and I actually really liked the building. Like 
you could tell it was really well maintained and like that the owners cared about the building and um, I actually liked this green wall. I kind of thought, I was like, oh, maybe I'll paint it black like if I move in here. We did apply for this apartment and we were going to get it, but in the end, I was just like, I just don't like the area. That was just like the biggest thing for me. I just didn't feel like I would feel safe at night, but like this apartment was cute. Like it had a cute little kitchen. The restroom was clean. Whoever lived here before like did a really good job like maintaining it. Um, but yeah, I liked this one. Then that was it for day one. And then now we're going into day two. This is a studio in Chelsea. This is $2,500. And honestly, I really liked this apartment. I thought it was super cute and I did apply for it, but we didn't get it. Um, but I really liked it. I thought it was cute. And then next up, this is another apartment in Chelsea. This was $2,595 but the net was $22.70, which means like they gave like a month or two free, I can't remember. But this one was just like, you know, when it's like too good to be true, it's because it is. Like everything was extremely brand new and like just, it was nice, but it, they were so small, it was insane. We checked out four apartments in this building, but you don't even get an actual stove and an actual fridge and you don't even have an oven but like what they like sell you on is like everything looks so nice. So I was like, honestly, if we don't have another option, this will be it, <laughs> this might be it. But then I was like, and he said, I cannot live without a stove. But I was like, the restroom's really nice. <laughs> and he's like, okay, we're not living in the restroom. Um, but yeah, this was 2550. Chelsea is a really good area though. Like if we had found the right apartment in that area, that's where we might've lived too. Um, but if you're thinking about it, especially if you're a girl moving to the city by yourself, it just feels so safe there and it feels more of a neighborhood feeling. And so that's exactly what you want. Next up, we went to Chinatown and I absolutely loved these two apartments I'm about to show you. These were $25.50. The net was $23.50. So they gave you like a month off. And I really liked this apartment a lot. Everything was brand new, really clean. Um, I liked that the building, it was like a, such an old building and they had said they had tenants that had been there for like 50 years, which is really cool. So that, you know, it's a good sign. Like people don't leave because they like the building. It's well maintained. It has a super, um, but yeah, I liked these. It had a cute little living room. The bedrooms were like kind of spacious. They were like, um, like awkward shapes, I would say, but I loved the views from these places. Like they were actually really cute and I could see us living here. I applied for this place and we really wanted it. But what kept killing us was that my husband, so it was just like, he hadn't had a job yet. So they kept seeing it like he was unemployed, but he was still getting, we were trying to explain to the hint. We were trying to explain to them that he had already had interviews and that he was about to get hired. But that was one of the things they didn't feel comfortable on because they thought he was just like unemployed. So that's why we didn't get this apartment, which sucked, but it wasn't meant to be. Next up, Oh my gosh, this apartment right here literally had my heart. This is in Soho. This was $23.50. We found this one, like it popped up like at 7 p.m. I texted the broker on my own to see if we could go see it. It felt like it was just like meant to be, like it just popped up out of nowhere. And my aunt and me just loved it. We loved it so much. It was quirky though, like the shower was in the kitchen, but you could not beat the area. The area was just like, so insane it was by like such a popular restaurant it was like steps away from like all the major like shopping and food gosh i just like loved this apartment so much but it wasn't meant to be this one this last one was in the east village this was 22.50 i walked into this place and i was just like okay maybe we could do this but then again I don't know if you could tell from this video, but it was tiny. My brother was like, I could do this on my own if I was living by myself, but with someone else, no. I really liked the broker and the building was well maintained, but just couldn't do it. Guys, we end up finding the place. It's all gonna work out. I'm so super excited. I'm very anxious, but it's such an exciting time in our life right now. And I can't wait to move out here. And I know it's gonna be a lot of work, but I've been prepared for it for 18 years and this is what I've always wanted to do so I will keep you guys posted and I will see you in the city.
hate you. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing those apartments. Spoiler alert, none of those are ours. We actually applied for three of those places, the one in Soho, the one in Chinatown, and the one in Chelsea, and we got denied each and every one of them. Two of them, we just got beat out just so quick. Like the apartments go so insanely fast. And it was like one of the last ones, it was just like the thing with Emilio, like them feeling like he wasn't employed um, was what really killed us. So if you're transitioning jobs and you're not like getting a sublet, you want an apartment when you get here, make sure you interview and get a job before you get here, especially if you don't have a guarantor to like sign for you because you're probably not gonna get the apartment. Um, but, um, in the next video I will be posting, I will show you guys the apartment we did get. I'm still not sure if I'm gonna stay the area or not. I'm not sure if that's like safe to, but we are so excited. It's actually a two bedroom, was in our budget. It popped up a few days after we had left. After not getting those three apartments, I was like so stressed out, but I was just like praying. I knew that God had a plan for us and that those just weren't our places. And we had the total mindset that we were gonna move here and just rent an airbnb apartment hunt when we got here and just figure it out but thankfully literally a day before we left apartment came up and we applied for it it probably took like two days and we got it we literally got it the day before we left like to sign the lease everything and we were so excited i was just like oh i felt like i could breathe again it was such a weight lifted off our shoulders and to get a two bedroom, like I'm so excited because we're gonna use one of them as a bedroom and then one of them as a living room. It's literally 11 minute commute for me to walk to work. I think it's like a 14 minute commute for Emilio to walk to work. So it's just perfect. And I'm so excited to share it with you guys. Um, so I just wanna tell you, if you are apartment hunting, don't give up. It took us two weeks to find an apartment, but we did it. I've heard some people say it took them up to like three months to find an apartment. So do not give up. Just remember if you haven't found yours yet, it's not that place is not meant to be for you and your apartment is waiting for you. Something better is waiting for you. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. I'm already posting so much on our shorts about our life here in NYC. If you don't follow me already on Instagram, please give me a follow. I'm posting all the good New York content already. In the next one, you will see our empty apartment tour. We Right now we are in an Airbnb and this place is so small but we're grateful to be here. We kind of got bamboozled on the move-in date for our place. They had told us it was immediately. Then they told us April 1st. And so we're like, uh, but thankfully we found an Airbnb. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Can't wait to show you my New York City empty apartment tour. And I'll have to do that one with Emilio. Um, but yeah, I love you guys. And thank you so much if you're here. Dream until it's your reality because we literally manifested this, guys. It became real for us. It can become real for you. So don't give up. Love you guys. Bye.